Hey guys, welcome back to the market recap. Today we saw a pretty bullish day overall in the stock market, but we're still within this little little range here. So yesterday I said that we opened near the close of Monday and closed near the open. Today we kind of did the opposite. We opened near the close of yesterday and closed near the open of yesterday. So definitely a very uh, volatile and whipsaw market these past few days, mainly this week. Um, I'm kind of missed the morning because I was out doing stuff, but apparently Jerome Powell said some things that really pumped up the market. I uh, just looking at this hourly chart here. Sorry, my my trading has been very laggy recently, so if it takes a while to upload or uh, update, I apologize. But looking at the hourly chart here, um, in the pre-market trading, this my soft level at forty three fifteen twenty five got retested and held, and we bounced off of there. And really, we had room up to 4380, which we definitely hit today. And now you can see that even though we did get a few hourly closes back above 4380, which was our main resistance resistance level on the day, you can see that right now we are coming back down lower to retest it. So this can definitely be kind of concerning, uh, especially after a nice move up with multiple hourly closes above. You know, getting this little flush at the end of the day is definitely cause for concern. Um, so if we do come back into this range, really, we don't have support again until 43.15, that soft level, and then 42.86. So I prefer if we don't come back into this range just because I'm sick of this chop. But if we do, those are the levels that I have highlighted. I'm sure there's a few levels hidden within here or we'll make some new levels if we do pull back some. But uh, as of now, 43.80. And 42.86 are still my main levels. If we do get back above 43.80 and close above it, my next level is up here at 44.18.25. And then our next level would be all the way up here at 44.78.25, which is quite a ways away. If we get back below 42.86, we don't really have a level until this 41.66.75 level. But I do think um, if we do break this level here, I doubt we just flush right to it. I would definitely assume we make some more levels um on the way down so back to the daily chart real quick actually before i get ahead of myself one thing to take note i guess is that we did looks like we're gonna get this daily close back above these two um this opening or the closing of monday and the opening of tuesday so that can definitely be some sort of bullish development that i want to highlight on the daily chart um, but obviously back above 4380 would be the main, main level we want to close above. You can see this is just kind of a sideways flag formation. So really it can go either way in my opinion. On to the NASDAQ. Same freaking story. The sideways flag consolidation thing going on um, on the hourly chart. We're still within our levels at... Uh, 14,264.75 and our support at 13,976. So NASDAQ's definitely very concerning. I mentioned a few times throughout the day that the NASDAQ kept failing to get an hourly close back above this level here. And you can see that even now we are failing to do so. So this can definitely be some cause for concern as uh, a lot of names in the NASDAQ are heavily weighted in the SPY as well. So if the NASDAQ fails to break above this level and comes lower, I assume. ES and SPY will come lower as well. So this is definitely a red flag in my opinion. Uh, if we do continue to come lower, obviously, like I said, our next support isn't down here until this 976 level. And there's not really much in between here. Not that it would even matter because everything in between these two zones are just chop and shouldn't really affect your thesis too much. So I guess coming into the rest of the week, we want to see how this little range plays out. And if we get a break back above this 264 level, then my next level would be up here at uh, 396.25. If we get back below this 976 level, then my next level is down here at 44, 44.6.25. So a lot of room downward. Um, but as of now on this little after hour session, NASDAQ is not looking good. Now, once again, same story. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but this sideways chop flag formation on the hourly chart, 
at one point, the Dow did get a close above its hourly level at uh, 883 and then failed miserably at the soft level at 935. So these soft levels do come into play, definitely. And we can see that it definitely came into play today. And now we're back below our resistance level. So with NAS just like with the NASDAQ, if we continue to reject this level and come lower, my next support level is not down here until um, 081. And then below that, our next support level is down here at 345. So a lot of room that the Dow could definitely come lower. I believe we still have a tiny gap to fill down here as well. That could definitely get filled. But once again, everything between this resistance and this support is just all chop and should not really change your thesis about this market at all unless we get a break in either direction. So um, tomorrow, if we do break back above these two levels here, then my next level is up here at uh, 34,254. And then I already mentioned these support levels back down here. So kind of a boring recap today because we didn't do much at all. But on to the small caps, same story here. Um, although this daily candle does look a little bit better because we got a pretty nice close over this 2047 level and above uh, these two bodies here. If we go to the hourly chart, we can see that we are rejecting pretty heavily off of this 2059.6 level. So right now, the small caps are kind of stuck in between uh, this level at 2047 and 2059.6. So if we do come lower, look for a back test hold of 2047. If that breaks, we do have a gap to fill down here to around 2011.6. And then we also have a soft level of support at 2016.8. If we do hold here and get back above 2059, my next level is up here at 2080. So pretty self-explanatory on the small caps. But grand scheme of things on the small caps, I still am bearish just because we are below this macro range. And this could all just be one big giant uh, giant bear flag playing out. So. Definitely overall bearish on the Russell, no doubt. On to gold. Gold uh, didn't do much of anything today. Yeah, it was down 0.76%, but uh, this is kind of just a cool off period. You can see we did come down to our level at 1921.5 and hold that as support. So pretty simple on gold. If 1921.5 does not hold, I think we can come back down to uh 1894, uh, 1885.4, or uh, 1873.7. You can see there's a lot of support down here on gold. So really, I do expect gold to find some sort of support if it does pull back more. And if we get back above um, 1956.2, I do think we'll come up to our next target at 1975.9. So gold's pretty much in this macro little range here. And you know, I'm still bullish on gold for sure but it just probably needs a few days to cool off and consolidate. On to the VIX. Interesting day in the VIX. So it did, uh, it was red today, but once again, we did close back above 30 yet again. So this is now the third day in a row back above 30. And that can definitely be concerning because I've always mentioned that the VIX above 30 kind of warrants um, you know, some pullbacks in these markets. And although we're not seeing that right now, I do think if the VIX stays elevated like this, uh, I'm not sure the bulls can handle that. Um, so what I want to see out of the VIX for the rest of the week is definitely get back below 30 and get back into this range here between 30 and 25, because I do think the bulls can handle that amount of volatility. But if we do continue to get closes back above 30 and mainly back over this 37.2 level, then I do think this market will see the next leg down. So the VIX has me worried. Um, it could just be elevated due to everything going on in Russia and, you know, all that stuff and not so much, um, you know, fear of the market dropping out of this little range it's in and going lower. So it could just be uh, normal volatility that is spiking right now. But the VIX is definitely telling us something. We just don't have enough information yet because if we go back to the ES chart, you can see that uh, the VIX is pretty elevated, even though we are just kind of chopping around sideways. So I think there could definitely be some divergence going on. I'd have to look more into that, but it's definitely telling us something. We just don't know yet. 
what yet. So uh, we definitely want to see the VIX get back below 30, no doubt. But just to summarize, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how choppy and whipsawy this market is. So for the rest of the week, just pay attention to this 4380 level and 4286. And really, everything in between here is just chop. So if you're a scalper, you know, you're probably going to love this market. If you're a swing trader, you're not going to love this market. So stay disciplined and, um, you know, let's see if we can get some confirmation above these levels or below. And that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys tomorrow.